Hey guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. This is Jax. Jax is about a 10 month old hound mix and uh, he presented a few days ago to me and basically he was, um, the owners had had him and they wanted to make a hunting dog out of him. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> and let me put this camera on a tripod. With their hunting dogs they apparently keep them all outside and they keep them tied up. So he was tied up uh, most of his life from what it sounds like. I weighed him today and he is 22 pounds, which is way too skinny. Let me show you a good side view of him. Um, you can see all his ribs, you can see his hip, and I mean you can see all his bones everywhere. He is just a big, tall, lanky, scrawny dog. Um, and he had kind of stopped eating and just was getting really sick and he looked a lot worse a couple days ago. He came in all dehydrated and he had a high white blood cell count, meaning he had an infection which come here. we weren't real surprised about because he has this wound on his neck and I don't know if this was from the collar or the rope that was used to tie him up but um, pretty nasty looking little wound there. It's, it's pretty superficial though, mostly just scabs now. Um, so we, we put him on antibiotics for that and I also ran a TLI test and what that is testing for is um, pancreatic insufficiency, it's called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. One of its functions is to secrete enzymes every time the dog eats a meal. So he eats a big meal of dog food and the pancreas secretes enzymes and basically it puts those enzymes into the intestines and it uses those enzymes to break down the food into absorbable components. So in exocrine pancreatic insufficiency dogs or EPI, we'll call it for short, um, he's not doing that so the food is just passing through and it's not being digested. The good thing about this disease is it is treatable if you just supplement their diet with um, pancreatic enzymes daily. I mean literally at every meal you put some enzymes in his food and as he eats those, those enzymes start breaking down the food and it goes into his body and theoretically he should absorb all that fat and all that protein and all that energy and be a normal functioning dog. Um, which is great, he has a treatable condition, but it's something that he'll need to be treated for for life and that pancreas, the pancreatic enzymes are not cheap. So it's going to be an expensive condition. Um, and I told the owners this, I was pretty excited that we found out what was wrong with him and it was something we could fix. Um, and the owners told me they just couldn't afford it, which that's not, that's not a, you know, I don't say they're bad people because of that because it is a pretty expensive thing over the course of his life. And, and a lot of people just can't, they can't do that, especially, you know, for a young dog like this, you know, they, that, he's going to have a long life ahead of them and, and that's going to be a lot of money spent on pancreatic enzymes. So the owners elected euthanasia. Um, they were going to put him to sleep because he's suffering. We can't let him keep going like this. Um, but I told them about what we're doing with that ranch and uh, told them I would take the dog. So he now is mine. They signed over papers. He is... He's my dog, and uh, basically what I'm going to try to do is start giving him the enzymes. I ordered them today, so they should be in tomorrow, um, and we'll start giving him those enzymes um, along with some other things. I'm going to clean him up, shave that wound on his neck, and make sure it doesn't need anything, and um, we have my antibiotics to help, help heal it up and keep from getting infected and everything. Uh, we're going to try to put some weight back on this boy, beef him up a little bit, and uh, he's a super sweet dog. so. Um, good boy. So I don't think, you know, once we get him healthy, I don't think it's going to be hard finding him at home. All right, we've had Jax for about five days now. He has uh, been taking the enzymes and he's kind of picked up his appetite a little bit. He's feeling a lot better and he's been cooped up at the clinic in a cage. So I figured today we'd let him spread his legs. So here he is. Jax, welcome to Demolition Ranch. And for those of you who don't know what Demolition Ranch is, that's my other channel and you should Google it. You're in for quite a surprise. It is a little different from this channel. So with pancreatic insufficiency, um, when the dogs have a bowel movement, they, uh, you know, they're passing just undigested food. So it looks real weird. It's usually this yellow, really soft, very stinky um, poop. And uh, he did have that when he first came in. That was one of the things that kind of clued me into what was going on with him and now his stools look normal now that he's getting those enzymes and he is actually digesting the food 
we weighed him today and he weighed um, 22 and a half pounds so he is putting on weight which is a good thing and he has a lot more energy than he did a couple days ago so seems like he's feeling pretty good this collar was the only one that we could find in the clinic um, and obviously he's got a little growing to do to fit that collar we're gonna go down to the river see what he thinks about that look at that hunting dog using his nose scrawny little guy <laughs> Still not acting like a normal puppy. He's a little slow. Look at that buzzard circling him. It's like he knows. We've been out here for all of 15 minutes, maybe 20, and my little puppy's pooping out back there. So, uh, gonna get him back and uh, feed him something, replace the energy that he burned up out here, and let him rest. It's been about three or four days since I took Jax out to the ranch. And honestly, he hasn't been doing very well. Um, he's just sort of picking at his food. We really can't get him to eat a full meal. Um, I mean, he really doesn't seem to want to eat at all. And, and that's kind of what we need him to be doing right now. We need him to be eating to put that weight back on. Um, so, kind of worried about him. You know, if he doesn't start eating pretty soon, I don't know, it's, it's not, not looking good if we can't get him to eat. So, it is uh, Easter Sunday right now and we just went to church and ate lunch and after lunch I boiled Jack some chicken and I'm gonna see if I can entice him with some chicken. Hey man, what do you think? You look perky, will you eat this? Oh yes, ow, golly, all right. All right, here's the chicken. I put some um, dog food in there and I'm gonna sprinkle some of this pancreas powder on there. Mix it all up and we have a boy who is anxiously waiting which I'm pumped about. He hasn't ever seemed this excited about food. Maybe he just didn't like our cooking before. Alright, you ready? See it? Do you know how to sit? See it? Not really. Okay, eat it. Eat it. Come on, man. We need you to pound that. There you go. Well, this is good. This is making me more hopeful that um, he's going to have a good recovery. I was kind of getting worried on what we were going to have to do for him if, if he wouldn't eat. Hey, bud. We're going to weigh him. Stay right there. Stay. Stay. Twenty and a half, looks like. That's not good, bud. You have lost weight since you started here. I don't know. We'll see how he does the next couple of days, and we may need to figure out something else. We'll catch back with y'all later. Basically, the last two days, he's just kind of got worse and worse. Um, and we finally sort of decided that we needed to do something because he was, he was wasting away, he was gonna die. Um, and I honestly am surprised that, that he didn't. Um, we went ahead and took an x-ray of him just because we didn't really know what else to do. And here's his x-ray, head's going this way, tail's going this way, this is his lungs up here, this is the liver, stomach is here, and these little white colored things in here, those shouldn't be there. Um, they looked kind of like gravel. Um, we didn't really know what they were. He hasn't been around gravel since he's been here. Um, he's been in a cage and I took him out to um, the ranch and I'm positive he didn't eat any gravel there. So um, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know how he's had that in him so long, but I assume this stuff had been in his stomach, just kind of sitting there not causing any problems. And anyway, this is back in the intestine. So uh, we went ahead and took him to surgery and um, cut open his intestines and it was full of long strands of grass and gravel and dirt and leaves and all kinds of junk which he has not he hasn't eaten in in at least a week because he's been here for about a week so that stuff has been in him not moving and it kind of tricked us because he wasn't throwing up he wasn't I mean he was eating and he was pooping so we thought he's not blocked up, but this stuff must have just been sitting in his stomach and eventually worked its way down into the intestines, blocking it up. And uh, we were kind of blindsided by it. We really didn't, didn't think anything could have been there, but i um, glad we took the x-ray. But uh, he's, uh, he had surgery yesterday and um, it was pretty hard on him. I mean, he was so sick, he was, he was close to death. Uh, so we were happy that he made it through the surgery. It was a two hour long surgery. And I also wanted to say that um, in my last video I said we were not taking donations um, and someone locally basically donated a lot of money um, and 
because we had that money, we went ahead and did this stuff. If we wouldn't have had that money, we wouldn't have gone to surgery with him. We wouldn't have taken x-rays because it was kind of, he's kind of become an expensive case. But thank you, you know who you are, who donated, donated all that money and you really made the difference on this case. Um, you've paid for everything. All of his expenses are paid for. So let me go get Jax right now. Like I said, it's been a day since his surgery um, and it looks like he's pulling through. He's starting to act perkier again. Um, so I'll go grab him and bring him up. I forgot to tell you that he actually had lost weight too since the last time we weighed him. So that was kind of a clue that we needed to we needed to do something pretty quickly. Um, that prompted us to go ahead and take the x-ray and take him to surgery. He does have a feeding tube in now so we can make sure to get those nutrients in him. Lay down buddy. He's not comfortable up on this table. Let's see if he'll lay down on the floor. He has about a seven inch incision on his belly. I didn't really want to keep him up, he was so weak, but uh, basically the plan now is just to keep monitoring him, keep getting calories into him, um, and hopefully he's just going to gain weight now that he had that big bolus of grass and sticks and leaves and rocks out of his intestines. So it's been a while since I've updated on Jax. He, um, he really did terrible after surgery uh, for about a week. He just was lethargic, not really getting up and moving around. Um, he definitely was not eating. And uh, I really didn't think he was going to make it. I, I was pretty confident that he was going to die. And I quit videoing him because it was, he was just so sad. Um, he just looked terrible. He lost more weight. And we were feeding him every day through that esophageal tube. But uh, he just wasn't really coming around until about a week a week later after surgery he did nibble a little bit of food on his own which was the most promising thing we had seen and uh, you know he was kinda getting a little tail wag back and the next day he totally ripped that that esophageal tube went into his neck and into his esophagus, esophagus and he totally ripped it out of his neck and uh, I kinda thought man we're gonna have to put it back in him but he started eating that day and he uh, He's eaten on his own ever since. It's been three weeks today since surgery, and uh, he's doing good. He uh, has gained a lot of weight. And let me introduce you to Jax 2.0. Jax, welcome to Demolition Ranch. As you can see, Jax is now a beautiful dog. He can jump out of the truck on his own. He's still pretty goofy. He has gained um, a lot of weight. We weighed him today. He is over 30 pounds, which is amazing. He came in um, a little over 20, and then he lost weight and went down to um, 19, maybe a little below. So Jax is 50% heavier than what he was at his lowest, which is pretty awesome. So everything's just worked out perfect for Jax. He, he does still have the um, issue where he'll need enzymes, most likely for life, but um, He's just improving every day, so I really don't think that's gonna be a big issue at all. Check this out, we taught Jax a new trick. It's called eating. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, all done? Good boy. Jax finishes every meal now, and uh, actually howls when he is not getting fed. And look how much muscle he has now compared to how he used to be. Looks a lot better. So there you go, this is Jax, this is probably the last update we're going to do on him um, because we have found him a home and uh, they should take him in uh, another day or two. Really nice family and uh, he should have a good home for the rest of his life. So I talked about not taking donations in a previous video and that was because I thought I could do it alone. Um, but with Jax here, he's turned out to be much more expensive than uh, I ever would have thought he would be. and. I found out that I can't do it alone. Um, at least I wouldn't have been able to do him alone um, because he was, you know, he, we probably spent $2,000 on Jax. We've had him at the clinic for um, a little over a month, um, probably closing in on a month and a half. And just boarding a dog for that long is expensive, you know, just taking care of him, feeding him, but much less a hospitalized patient and one that we had to do um, two surgeries on. We did the abdominal surgery and then I did the, uh, the, uh, neuter also but we are going to start accepting donations and uh, I'm not really sure how we're gonna do it yet I think I'm gonna set up a nonprofit organization and uh, as soon as I do that I will put um, the information on how you can donate in the description below so go check that out as soon as I get it all figured out it'll be there and 
we really appreciate everybody for uh, supporting this channel and if you didn't watch the other video uh, we have ads on these videos they make revenue that goes to support these pets too so just watching these videos is supporting a pet you know we make a fraction of a cent for your view but when we get thousands of views those fractions add up so thank you for watching thanks for supporting that ranch and what we're trying to do here and uh thanks for helping with jacks see y'all later sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong but i know what you're going through i know cause i've been there too i don't walk right and i don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong but i want to be there for you honey working my job so, earlier in this video, you saw when I took Jax out here to Demolition Ranch, we were out here for 10 or 15 minutes, and this dog wore himself out, walking around, sniffing like this. Now he can outrun me. He's healthy, beautiful, and I hope we have more success stories like Jax in the future. And we're really gonna make a difference here. We're gonna fix them all. I want you next to me, I said I do, I said I do, please In sickness or in health, always be true, always be true And I want you next to me, I said I do, I said I do, please I wanna be there for you honey, working my job and making money